Good day everyone, so it is myth busting time with Yaimiko and the claim is Yaimiko cannot move after she cast her elemental burst and everyone says it's a bug, therefore Hoyo versus bad, please rework the character. And I think people are jumping to conclusions without properly testing these things. So I'm on PC and what I want you guys to do is test this out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. I'd love it if someone can post to me like a frame by frame count of where this is an issue like in the link below or whatever put some, some actual evidence don't believe me do it yourself so i've got avi demux right here you can essentially move like frame by frame through videos it's also got some cool other little tools as well and essentially i'm just going to now play this clip this is a clip of me doing this test like previously and just full disclaimer i run my i've got like a pc and I believe my input lag and all these things are just like relatively low. Um, I've got a fancy graphics card and all that. We're running 2K VSync off and we're running at max quality settings. So this is like my typical setup. And let me just sort of show you what's going to happen. So I want to see how responsive we are. And you can see how, what I'm doing with Kokomo. I'm just sort of shaking it. Uh, I want to see how responsive we are after casting our elemental burst. Okay. And we sort of got like a bit of a baseline there of Kokomi. And let's see what Aika does. All right, so there she was able to dash um, as quickly as possible. Now let's see the same with Ryan Shogun. All right, so there she can slash. And now then, then finally with Yaimiko. Let's just wait for this to play out. And there she is. So pretty fast all, overall. Now, how do we actually determine whether there's a problem with Yai? So let's just go to Kokomi. And I've already sort of tallied up all the results. So don't worry. So 27.699. 27.699 that should be about right here <clears throat> so watch what's going to happen i'm just going to go one frame you'll hear that it like you'll hear me like press it now we're in kokomi's elemental burst so from this point and you can keep me honest right down here we're now in Kokomi's elemental burst. So now I'm just going to go through her elemental burst and notice what happens here. The HUD is completely, there's like nothing here, what we can do. We can't move. Kokomi is not unable to move and so on. And look here, now we've got our abilities back up, but we can't activate them. They are, they've like essentially been grayed out. In other words, there's like a sort of game lock or like a UI lock. We can't do anything with Kokomi here. She's stuck as of this moment. So here you can see, like, oops, just like the, oh, I think I just accidentally skipped forward. But there you go. You can see her there at this very moment. Her E ability is active, and now we can move. And the moment we start moving, there we go, we can sort of record the results. So basically, this is her burst startup animation. Uh, this is the time, like, the game locks removed. In other words, we can start moving. And within about, like, a, a couple of frames, we can see this is like the point in which Kokomi actually started moving. I've done the same with Ayaka and I've done the same with Raiden. Uh, generally speaking, it's about um, one or two frames. It, again, it just depends on your inputs and a bit of system uh, latency. But depending on that, you can generally, like the moment the game locks removed, you can move around with the character. Now, let's go to Yamiko at 45803, 832, 45832. So this should be almost about right here. Right, so here it is. So at this moment, you'll see Yai is turning, so she's going to cast her elemental burst. So this is the moment we're going to start timing it. And let's just quickly slowly go over this. So there you can see, again, there's no HUD, no UI. I cannot move. Look at the beautiful tails. Um, I can't do anything now with Yai and Mika, all right? This, I can't do any anything. Um, I, right up until, okay, so now this little lock is back. Uh, and what you'll see now is I can't use my E ability, so we're still locked. There's still like a lock on the game. I can't do anything with her movement. And obviously you saw that like, uh, you can see it's like 21.9 and obviously they subtracted the time for the burst animation. So that's why you've got that. And hopefully now you will see, I'm going frame by frame. There we go. So look at that. The moment her E ability is like launched, look at what happens to Yai here as well. I know it's a bit difficult to see. But she looks like she's ready to dash. And look what's happening. She is, in fact, dashing out. In fact, the moment the game lock is, like, removed, I, I, can, I can move with Yai. She's not stuck like a lot of people said she is. You can move around with the character and do all sorts of cool things. 
Um, so generally speaking, um, and by the way, I got this one to be exactly frame perfect. I did not intend for it. But generally speaking, within a couple of um, frames and so on, you will actually be able to move your character. Remember, character movement is not affected by your ping right here. Um, it's only the hit registration when you hit enemies and so on uh, that it will actually sort of matter. And that's why we do this sort of frame counting to actually go into detail. Now, again, don't believe me. Do the work yourself, record your game plan in 60 frames a second, get the software or whatever software of your choice that you want to download and confirm it for yourself before you believe those people that are like spreading lies on the internet. If there is a platform issue, like for instance on mobile there's like a bug or whatever, then trust that MiHoYo will most likely fix the bug. But by no means is Yaimiko buggy on PC when it comes to her elemental burst. I do think the people that sort of spread this misinformation genuinely don't have a clue what they're talking about. Cheers.